Hallelujah to Jesus. Father, we bless your holy name, worship you. Be glorifying the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, child of God. Jesus love you. And I love you. Please, family, help me to like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I see this number of four. This number of four group of persons. Number of four that are so jealous. And the these four were there to finish you off. Their plans were there for them to kill you. When I was getting this message, it took me to when Daniel was being planned against. The Bible said the men that went to the king to speak to the king about Daniel, about making a decree that no one should worship any other god and that they should be worshiping him that is the king. They were among the administrators the way Daniel were. In other words, they know Daniel. They saw every time he go to pray. They walked together. There were three of them, but these two of them, they became so envious. They became so angry. And they see that the queen and the, the king loved Daniel so much. And this is something that, that started the hit. Instead of them to come to Daniel and say, Oh, Daniel, please, can you show me your way? Can you teach me the word of your God so that the king himself can also love me so I can do things right? No. They made a plot. They made a plot. They made a plot to finish the man off. That is the situation of this one. This prophecy I'm giving to somebody. These four were there. They were ready to finish you. But one thing you should know, the Bible says even when Daniel was being convicted of those things the heart of the king was troubled why will i throw my friend into the lion's den and uh, 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 he made a degree i said okay put him there what they meant for daniel to what they meant to destroy daniel he made daniel he made him he made him he made him this fall that went on to go and lied on you they had a conversation together. I see four of them. Four of them. All they were wishing was like, let's finish her up. Let's finish him up. And they have tried to finish you off. They have really tried. It is even the grace of God that you are still standing. You don't even know how you are still standing. But thank God for grace that is available. You are still standing. And you will continue to stand. They were ready to finish you off. But thank God that you are still standing. I want you to know that the God that delivered Daniel, that same God, is still delivering you. He's still delivering you. It's possible that where you find yourself is not a physical lion's den. Lion's den. But wherever you find yourself, that they try to finish you up. Whatever they put, bring in, into your life to make you feel as if your life is finished. Child of God. I want to tell you that that God is delivering you out of it. Even as I speak right now, there are people who are wondering how you are surviving. How you are still standing. How are you not giving up yet? How are you not dead yet? Your destiny is not written by man. It is written by God. I pray for you no matter how many they are. The Bible says when they shall come in one way, the Spirit of the Lord will raise the standard. The Lord keep raising the standard against your enemies in the name of Jesus. It is well with you, child of God. Jesus love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.